great leaders don't set out to be a leader. They set out to make a difference. It's never about the role. It's always about the goal to get extraordinary achievement from ordinary people. Good morning one and all. Welcome to the Investigator Ceremony 2020 of St. Stephen School, Habla. In this auspicious occasion today, we will be acknowledging our newly appointed leaders for the academic session 2020-21 and will be investing them with their liabilities and authorities. On behalf of the management, the principal, staff and students, we welcome each one of you to this solemn event. We extend a very hearty and warm welcome to our treasured guests, parents, distinguished dignitaries, including the Honorable Principal, whose gracious presence has filled us with unprecedented joy. Prayer is a kind of talking to God. So let us commence today's auspicious occasion with the presence of God by offering prayer. Let us pray. Almighty God, we bow down your heads to you. We praise you for your blessings in our everyday life. You are the creator of heaven and earth day and night. You created in your own image. You loved the world so much that you took the flesh and blood and came down to this sinful world so that anyone believes in you may not perish but may have everlasting life. You lived with us and you taught us how to live in the light and how to be salt of the world. You taught the world how to work in a team and the responsibility of a good team leader. You showed us an enlightened leadership formed with love, joy and peace, integrated self correcting and respectful to others. The worldly leadership consists of pomp and power. It is more about domination, seeking applause and praises. But your divine leadership stands on the reverse side of the worldly leadership. Lord, you taught us how a good leader should serve the people becoming servant for the people of the world. Leadership is not the power or authority. It is about to come in communion with the community, serving the community, taking hands of a blind to cross the road, not just only directing how to cross a road. Lord, you taught the world a servant good leadership, holistic leadership, participatory decision-making leadership. During your 33 and a half and year in this world, Lord, you was your disciples feet, you touched the leper, you fed the hungry, you never left your disciples undone. You visited sinners' houses, you lived with the poor, and at the end, you accomplished your mission, sacrificing your life, for the rest of the world. You shed your holy blood for ransom of the sinful human being. Lord, you had always been humble. You taught us how a leader sacrifices his life for his people. Today, my honest prayer to you, Lord, for your divine guidance and direction for these young people who shape their lives. You teach them to be a good team member and a good team leader and grow a servanthood leadership in everyone. 
help them to understand the leadership is about to serve, not to be served. I ask this prayer in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Good morning to all viewers. Once again, I would like to extend a note of hearty welcome to everyone present on this special occasion of investiture ceremony of our school. I would like to congratulate our student leaders and hope the leadership experience that they will gain will put them in good stead in the years ahead and prepare them well for the future. Every day is special if you think so. Every moment is memorable if you feel so. Everyone is unique if you see so. Life is beautiful if you live so. But this day cannot be special without the grace of God. Dear God, into your hands we place our worries, cares and troubles. Into your wisdom we place our path, direction and goals. Into your love we place our lives. So, let us begin this aspiring day with God's blessings. Now, I would like to call upon Mr. Guy Baptist for the scripture reading which has been taken from Matthew chapter 20 verses 25 to 28. Thank you. Good morning to one and all present here. Now we have the Bible reading. Today's reading is taken from Matthew chapter 20 verse 25 to 28. It says, Jesus called them together and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and the high officials exercise authority over them. Not so with you. Instead, whoever wants to become great among you must be your servant, and whoever wants to be first must be your slave, just as the Son of Man did not to come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you, Mr. Baptist, for enlightening us with such wonderful words from the scripture. True leadership is found in serving others. The first responsibility of a leader is to be humble and serve the people. As God had sent his only son, Jesus Christ, to serve the mankind and he surrendered his life for the same. Now our school choir will sing the hymn Onward Christian Soldiers. Christian soldiers, all to victory. Has 
foundations quiver as the shout of praise. Brothers lift your voice as loud your anthems raise. Onward, Christian soldiers marching as to war with the cross of Jesus going on before. With the cross of Jesus going on before. Onward, then we people join our happy throng. Then we love our soldiers in the triumph song. Glory, love, and honor unto Christ the King. Lift to countless ages, men and angels sing. Onward, Christian soldiers marching us to war. With the cross of Jesus going on before. With the cross of Jesus going on before. With the cross of Jesus going on before. Thank you, School Choir, for such glorious rendition of the hymn. The hymn suggests that the Christians are the soldiers for Christ. And it is our duty to follow the path laid by Jesus and confront our foes, curb all temptations and emerge victorious. Now I request our respected principal, sir, Mr. H.K. Mondo, who is a true leader under whose supervision and guidance the teachers and the students are able to undergo the process of new normal and virtual learning to address to the school on investiture. A very good morning to one and all viewing this program. I would like to start with a portion from the Holy Bible, which is written in the Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 22, verse 14, which says that for many are called but few are chosen. I repeat, for many are called, but few are chosen. And you all are the bunch of the chosen students. You have been selected not only by me, but by all the teachers who taught you since you took admission in St. Stephen's School, Habra. You have been selected not only for your academic performance, but also for your nature, your behavior, how you deal with your fellow students, and teachers. So as you take the oath today, remember the trust and confidence of the teachers on you. I have a piece of advice for each one of you. Your power and authority will flow from your responsible behavior and the example that you set. Your fellow students must see in you an ideal schoolmate. Help them, guide them, be with them, but never dictate them. You cannot show them the piece of paper stating your authority and expect them to do what you do not practice yourself. In a position of responsibility, you will also lose a bit of your own freedom. You will be more stringently scrutinized than before. Everybody around you will expect more from you. You will also have to make a balance between your additional responsibilities, your studies, co-curricular activities, and also in sports. That is where your leadership qualities will be put to test. And as far as we are concerned, we will always be by your side, guiding you and mentoring you in your new role. And then I would like to congratulate each one of you and wish you all a fulfilling experience as prefects. May God bless you all. It is an honor to be a part of this auspicious investiture ceremony. Thank you, sir, for such an inspirational speech. It is going to be a guiding stone for each and every one of us. The investiture ceremony is one of the first momentous occasions of the school where the newly elected and selected members of the Student Senate are officially vested with their powers and positions. Students of today, 
are the future of tomorrow. We would also like to say they are the visionaries and torch bearers of tomorrow. When we develop the personality, skills, the mind of a student, then we develop his growth. We develop his leadership quality. Today, as we celebrate the investiture of our new Students' Council, we would also like to thank you, last year's Student Council, for their contribution to the school. So to continue further with the investiture ceremony, I would like to call upon Lahasa to give a formal introduction and instruction to our students. After that, it will be followed with the oath taking of the prefects, which will be conducted by our dear Anita ma'am. Thank you. Very good morning to all of you. Today is a very special moment for Havra and Stephen family that we are going to start the oath-taking ceremony as it is a tradition of our institution. Before taking the oath by our selective students, I want to share a few lines about it. Oath-taking is a solemn promise that requires sincerity and discipline beside it in speech, thought and action. When a person swears an oath, they often show that the oath is very important to them by calling God to see and remember the promise and to show that the promise is true and cannot be taken back later. It is quite related with discipline because an indisciplined person never in his or her control to do in his or her work in a proper way or manner or in a given time. Discipline is something that motivates a person to progress in life. Somebody considers discipline as a part of their life, somebody don't. But a disciplined individual can control and handle any situation in sophisticated way than those who do not discipline. It ultimately brings the success in our life. We hope that the duties will be given to the specific students or person will be handled in a proper manner, in a proper way. I want to say the student one line, that set an example to the juniors and seniors that they will follow and they will obey your instruction very gladly and happily. It is your duty. Less successful, the ceremony with the grace of God. Thanks to all of you. The role of prefect is an important one and the children's student will get an opportunity to develop leadership skill and have excellent influence on the daily life of the school. As such, prefects are expected to perform many roles in school activities. They should be a role, positive role model for all the other students with regard to the effort, conduct and commitment to the ethos of the school. They should be a high level of maturity and initiative. They should have a very excellent track record of attendance and punctuality and should have good organizational and communication skill. They should serve as a bridge between the school authority, teachers and students. We hope that the prefix selected for the academic session 2021 will fulfill all the criteria expected from them. Now, we move to the prefix oath taking ceremony and I will call upon the name of the prefix selected in this academic session. Nandini Sarkar, class 12 science. Esha De, class 11 science. Vyas Basu, class 11 science. Shyam Datta, class 11, Science, Srimoshi Das, class 11, Humanities, Dona Datta, class 11, Science, Aditi Bhomi, class 11, Commerce, Abhi Shaha, class 11, Science, Krishti Das, class 11, Science, and Shoposhachi Paul, class 11, Science.
hereby pledge to serve the school as a prefect faithfully. I will be loyal and role models for Stephenites. I shall be confident, determined and sincere to all duties bestowed upon me. I pledge to uphold the name of our school to the best of my abilities and to be the best that I can be. I, Esha Day of Class 11, do hereby pledge to serve the school as a prefect faithfully. I will be loyal and role models for Stephenites. I shall be confident, determined and sincere to all the duties bestowed upon me. I pledge to uphold the name of our school to the best of my abilities and to be the best that I can be. I, Vyas Pasu of class 11, do hereby pledge to serve the school as a school prefect faithfully. I will be loyal and role model for the Stephen I shall be confident, determined and sincere to all the duties bestowed upon me. I pledge to uphold the name of our school to the best of my abilities and to the best that I can be. I, Shandanta of class 11, do have a pledge to serve the school. Faithfully as a prefect, I will all and role model for all Stephenites. I shall be confident, determined and sincere to all the duties bestowed upon me. I pledge to uphold the name of my school to the best of my abilities and the best I can be. I, Srimokshi Dash of class 11, do hereby pledge to serve the school as a prefect faithfully. I will be loyal and role model for Stephenite. I shall be confident, determined and sincere to all duties bestowed in me. I pledge to uphold the name of our school to the best of my abilities and to the best that I can be. I, Jonadatta of class 11 science, do hereby pledge to serve the school as a prefect faithfully. I will be loyal and role model for Stephenites. I shall be confident, determined and sincere to all duties based out upon me. I pledge to uphold the name of our school to the best of my abilities and to be the best that I can be. I, Aditya Bhavne, from class 11, do hereby pledge to serve the school as a prefect faithfully. I will be loyal and role model for Stephen X. I shall be confident, determined and sincere to all the duties bestowed upon me. I pledge to uphold the name of our school to the best of my abilities and to be the best that I can be. I, Abhisha of class 11, do hereby pledge to serve the school as prefect faithfully. I will be loyal and role model of the Stephenites. I will be confident, determined and sincere to all the duties bestowed upon me. I pledge to uphold the name of our school to the best of my abilities and to be the best that I can be. I, Kishida subclass 11, hereby take the pledge to serve the school as a prefect faithfully. I will be loyal and role models for Stephen. I shall be confident, determined and sincere to all duties bestowed upon me. I pledge to uphold the name of our school to the best of my abilities and to be the best that I can be. I, Sarvesa Chipal of class 11, do hereby pledge to serve the school as a prefect faithfully. I will be loyal and role model for Stephen X. I will be confident, determined and sincere to all the duties bestowed on me. I pledge to uphold the name of my school to the best of my abilities and to the best that I can be. The duty of the captains is to uphold the dignity and status of their respective houses. It is bestowed on them with the belief that they will live up to their duties with utmost care and concern. They will maintain the honor of their house by their activities and the way in which they manipulate every move they make in the fulfillment of a task. We look forward to the performance of their house 
but moreover we look upon them as they represent their house and it is through their management that their house will outshine the others with their aura and excellence so now i introduce to you the house captains of the blue house and the green house for the academic session of 2021 from the blue house we have oishi mukherjee as the girls captain and shakur nundi as the boys captain and from the green house we have Aishwarya Paul as the girls captain and Ujjal Shaw as the boys captain. They will now be taking their respective votes. I, Oishi Mukherjee of class 12, do hereby pledge to serve the school as a house captain faithfully. I will be loyal and role model for Stephen Ives. I shall be confident, determined and sincere to all the duties bestowed upon me. I pledge to uphold the name of the school to the best of my abilities and to the best that I can be. I, Smokhan Nandi, class 12, do hereby pledge to serve the school as a house captain faithfully. I'll be loyal and role model for the Stephen Ives. I shall be confident, determined and sincere to all the duties bestowed upon me. I pledge to uphold the name of our school to the best of my abilities and to the best that I can be. Aishwarya Paul of class 12 science do hereby pledge to serve the school as a house captain faithfully. I will be loyal and role model for all the Stephenites. I shall be confident, determined and sincere to all the duties bestowed upon me. I pledge to uphold the name of our school to the best of my abilities and to be the best that I can be. I, Ujjal Shah of class 12, do hereby pledge to serve the school as greenhouse captain faithfully. I will be loyal and role model for Stephen Ives. I shall be confident, determined and sincere to all duties bestowed upon me. I pledge to uphold the name of our school to the best of my abilities and to be the best that I can be. House captain of Blue House and Green House have taken their oath. Now it's time for the house captain of Red House and Yellow House to take their oath. For that, I would like to call upon the name of house captain of Red House and Yellow House simultaneously. So house captain of Red House, Disha Majumdar, class 12, Science. Shubhradito Kaur, class 12, Science. House captain of Yellow Houses are Debangi Majumdar, class 12 humanities and Akash Zatta, class 12 humanities. I, Disha Majumdar of class 12, do hereby pledge to serve the school as a house captain of Red House faithfully. I will be loyal and role models for Stephenites. I shall be confident, determined and sincere to all the duties bestowed upon me. I pledge to uphold the name of our school to the best of my abilities and to be the best that I can be. I, Shubhadit Thakur of class 12, do hereby pledge to serve the school as Red House Captain faithfully. I will be loyal and role model for Stephenites. I shall be confident, determined and sincere to all the duties bestowed in me. I pledge to uphold the name of our school to the best of my abilities and to be the best that I can be. I, Devangi Mazumdar of class 12, do hereby pledge to serve the school as a house captain of Yellow House faithfully. I will be loyal and role model for the Stephenites. I shall be confident, determined and sincere to all the duties bestowed upon me. I pledge to uphold the name of our school to the best of my abilities and to be the best that I can be. I, Akasata of class 12 humanities, do hereby pledge to serve the school as a Yellow House captain faithfully. I shall be loyal and role model for the Stephenites. I shall be confident, determined and sincere to all the duties bestowed upon me. I pledge to uphold the name of our school to the best of my abilities and to be the best that I can be. Hello everyone. Now I'd like to introduce the student disciplinary in charges, Nundita Shaha and Shayun Halda. We hope 
you show dedication and commitment in fulfilling your responsibilities. Thank you. I, Nandita Shah of Class 12 Science, do hereby pledge to serve the school as a discipline in charge faithfully. I will be loyal and role model for Stephenites. I shall be confident, determined and sincere to all duties bestowed upon me. I shall pledge to uphold the name of our school to the best of my abilities and to be the best that I can be. I, Shayan Haldar of Class 12 Science, do hereby pledge to serve the school as a discipline in charge faithfully. I will be loyal and role model for the Stephenites. I shall be confident, determined and sincere to all duties bestowed upon me. I pledge to uphold the name of our school to the best of my abilities and to be the best that I can be. May I call upon Class 12 Science student Argadatta to pronounce his oath as a Vice Captain of the school, St. Stephen School, Habra. I, Orgadotta of Class 12, do hereby pledge to serve the school as a Vice Captain faithfully. I will be loyal and role models for Stephenites. I shall be confident, determined and sincere to all duties bestowed upon me. I pledge to uphold the name of our school to the best of my abilities and to be the best that I can be. A leader is one who knows the way, goes the way and shows the way. A powerful leader always thinks outside the box and helps to solve an unsolvable problem. Now I'll be announcing the name of the school captain of St. Stephen School, Habra for the academic session 2020-21. And he is Suprati Ghosh of class 12 science. He will be taking the oath now as the new school captain. Shukrati Ghosh of class 12 to hereby pledge to serve the school as a school captain faithfully. I will be loyal and role model for all the Stephenites. I shall be confident, determined and sincere to all the duties bestowed upon me. I pledge to uphold the name of our school to the best of my abilities and to be the best that I can be. I am grateful to the school captains that they have solemnly taken the oath and promise to carry out their responsibility by serving the school. Now we are close to the end of investiture, so I would like to request Mrs. Kanisha Paul, our assistant teacher, to deliver the board of thanks. Good afternoon to all of you present over here. I am feeling privileged to get the opportunity to give a vote of thanks today in the auspicious occasion of the investiture ceremony of St. Stephen School Habra. First of all, I want to congratulate the leaders who got the opportunity to shoulder on the responsibilities as prefects, house captains, vice captains and the school captains. We feel blessed in the Habra St. Stephen School as in this pandemic situation also we can actually successful to complete our investiture ceremony. Therefore, I would like to give thanks to my Lord without whose boundless blessings we would not have achieved our goal. I must give thanks to our Honorable Principal Sir Mr. Hira Kumar Mondol whose tireless strivings and guidance always encourage us to perform our duties all the more perfectly. I give thanks to our Honorable Pastor Reverend Binal Kanti Dash who helped us with the Lord's blessings to perform the act nicely. I give thanks to all my colleagues, dearest children and the service staffs to be with us always. At the end, we must acknowledge the unconditional love and support given to us by the parents of our students. Thank you very much. Thank you all. Today, we are celebrating our school 
investiture ceremony program. So we start our program with prayer. Now we are going to finish our program. So let us pray once again. Almighty and loving God, thank you for your presence with us in this day. As we depart from this program now, I ask you to bless each and every one, especially the young students, those who have taken the leadership and responsibilities for the school, that they may fulfill their duty properly and they may continue and bear fruit properly according to your will. You give your knowledge and guidance that they may always do their duty with discipline. I ask this prayer with the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now the grace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen. Yeah, 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 yeah. 